everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodwork. Hope you've been having a good summer. I've been doing a lot of projects recently, and uh, one of them was I was looking for a place that I could work at, um, like a workstation that I could stand at. Now, I have benches in the basement, and that's fine for that, but two things with that is I have to run downstairs every time I want to lay something out and, and instead of putting it on the kitchen table. So this gives me a two foot by four foot um, work service area. Um, the other thing is, is I wanted to have the ability of moving my chair in there. This allows me to be able to sit at my desk and put my feet up and sort of belly up to the, to the table. I got a light right above there. And the other feature, what I've done is, is once I built the bench, I created a little half inch lip. And the reason I built this lip is so that I can buy a standard sheet of uh, two foot by four, four foot half inch uh, ply, cabinet grade ply. And I can literally just drop that right in, finish this however I want. If I wanted to replace this with some... Um, Oh, I don't know, plexiglass or polycarbonate, I could do that. If I wanted to change it to something that I needed to paint or, uh, you know, mess up a little bit. The other thing I want to do is, is this is just straight two by with the nail holes in there. Instead of filling them and sanding, I think I'm going to just put a face plate. I'll finish the top and then uh, maybe build a, uh, a box for the side for my pens. But this is just about done. Alright, so now this is all prepared and ready to be dropped in there. Again, you can finish it any way you want if you want to make it fancy and put stain. I just like this because I paint, I draw, I drop water on it, and it'll just beat off like water on a duck's back. Um, I could take then another piece, because this is just two by four sheets of ply, a half inch, and uh, replace this with you know a piece of polycarbonate if I wanted to, or I could wrap this in uh, steel or aluminum flashing or you know whatever you're in the mood for but so I have this really thin piece of oak that I got and uh, it's less than a quarter inch and what's interesting is it's got sort of like these cool kind of saw marks from when it was resawed and I don't think I'm gonna remove that I think it kind of gives it a cool rustic work uh, look I'm gonna rip this down to the width of a two by and pin nail it on and I think we're good to go this project's pretty much done There we go, just a nice workbench that I can have upstairs that has a little nicer look to it than what would be down in the shop. And uh, I got it all lit up nice and I think it came out good. Very, very inexpensive. It was all two by and wood I had laying around with the exception of the sheet of plywood which was like 12 bucks, you know, it wasn't expensive. So, but I think it came out pretty good and I think it'll work well for it. I'm basically gonna use it for drawing most of the time. But other than that, I appreciate you checking it out, seeing what I did recently. Um, if you have any questions, post them down below. I appreciate you watching again. This is Chris from TDW Woodworks, and we'll see you on the flip side.